Hello and welcome to the Webinar Income Blueprints. Today we are going to be talking about how to craft powerful presentations. And part of doing this, uh, my name is Sean Balogun Sami and this is part of the Webinar Income Blueprint series. So we're going to learn how to create powerful presentations that make people pay you money. And um, it's very important to understand that if you're going to host webinars, your presentation must be very tight. Otherwise, you're just going to gather people, they will tell you, oh, I enjoyed the class, and then they will leave. And you don't want that. You want people to actually pay you money. So it's here is what you're going to do when creating your slides. First things, these are the nine things every webinar must have. Actually, there are ten, but um, I usually consider them as nine. Your webinar must have an open, it must have a hook, it must have introduction, it must have a proof, it must have a content slash training, it must have a transition slash demand, demand, it must have offers, it must have triggers, it must have a Q&A, and it should close properly. So let's look at them one by one. Now we're going to also look at examples. We're going to see where this stuff has been used in live webinars that I've done in live webinars of other people um, that I could lay my hands on. So we're going to see how they did it and you're going to understand why they work. So the first thing your webinar must have is an open. Now you can open with a question, you can open with a statistic or you can open with a story. We call it the QSS method, right? You open with a question, you can open with a statistic or a story. Now look at some examples here. An example of a question could be you just saying, Good evening. So I want to open this presentation by saying, what will you do if you found one millionaire on the roadside today? So basically what you will do here is ask them and then you get their feedback. You want them to type in the comment section what they will do. Now the beautiful thing about this is by getting them to comment, you are getting them to become a part of the class and they will want to leave because you are now talking with them. It's not just a one way something. I mean, go back to your primary school. Um, every single time your your teacher was talking and you were, uh, you know, you, you were quiet for one hour. Before you know it, other people started sleeping in the class. Like, no matter what happened, because the teacher was boring. So you don't want to be a boring presenter. You want to get everybody who is in your class to engage with you. And so one unspoken rule of thumb here, which will really, really increase your webinar conversion rate is your ability to engage them. So every single three minutes, every three to five minutes, ask them questions. Ask them questions and make them type in the comments and other things. And so we're going to explain more about that at the end of this video. Now, another example is a story. Here you can tell them, good evening. I want to start this webinar by telling you all a short story. There was once a king who had blah, 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 and you go on to share your story. As much as possible, keep your story short to make sure you have a very engaging story. Now, your story may or may not even relate to it, um, what you're teaching. It doesn't really matter. As long as you can draw a, a, a conclusion from the story that helps them get engaged with you. All right, then you can also have statistics. Look at another example here that says 56% of all Chinese men love their mothers more than their dads. Well, <laughs> this is a made-up statistic, of course, but you can go with a fact, a statistic that is actually available that people know about. All right, so it's very important you, um, you run with profitable um, statistics. You open with a profitable study, a statistic that is actually real and relates to what it is you are you're teaching them now the next thing is your hook slash your mindset reset now this is supposed to be two separate things but because some people don't even do the mindset reset aspect but it's also good to do it so we're going to look at sorry before we look at this let's go back and look at some examples of open let's look at some examples of an open all right, cool. This is from a mentor of mine, Dr. Sam Harvard. Look at this. There are two categories of people today. So he opened with, um, by explaining that there are two categories. But this is not any of the three methods, but I just want to show you. This is like a statistic as well. 
okay so this one he just said okay there are two categories of people here today this is more like a story and a strategy joined together or this is not how i would do it but then the open is is something you can use your own style let me show you my own webinars that i've had um, okay okay so this is a question right you can see here I opened with a question do you know ad spending in 2024 is expected to reach 120 million in nigeria as of 2023 over 80 million nigerians shop online this is a very, very shocking statistic and it relates to what i am selling there let me see if i have one more um, i should have one more where is it okay so this one look at another question this was another question how is it going so far how is it going so far this is another question i am using here just a very simple question how is it going so far and then i can get them to tell i can now talk about it basically what i did here was i asked them how is it going so far you made plans in january to make so, so, so amount of money how is it going so far and they were responding oh i've not made it oh i've this oh this happened oh that happened you know people were responding all right so So it's very, very important to ensure that you have a good open that always works for you. All right, so let's go back. Now, you can use the hook slash mindset. This is number two. Basically, your hook is where you tell them what they stand to benefit by watching the training and why they should stay to the end. So here's an example. If you stay to the end of this training, you will discover A, B, C, D. And I have a gift for everybody that stays to the end. You get this is a very very simplified example now you can do it to when you want to work with the mindset the mindset part you can now say before i move any further this training isn't for you if and you go ahead to tell them why so let's look at another examples where mindset is used um i think i have some examples here let's see okay did i touch mindset here okay no, I didn't touch mindset here, but I... All right, so I'm just going to look for another slide. I have another slide where I have mindset covered. Let me look for another slide. So I just want you to get the idea of how the mindset works for you. Good. So basically what you're doing with mindset is that you are trying to ensure they have the right, uh, uh, the right mindset or what happens there. You want them to be in the right frame of mind to actually want to buy from you. Because a lot of people, uh, they believe that anything online is scam and you want to move them away from that mindset. So this is mindset listen this class is for serious minded people who are ready not just to create a source of income for yourselves but also to start a business and build your own agency solving problems for your business or other people's business and making a lot of money from the comfort of your home still on mindset the one thing you should know before we begin you are where you are today because of two things number one what you know or don't know number two how you use what you know and all this boils down to your mindset your mindset is going to determine what information comes to you and what you do with that information. But the fact that you're here shows that you have the first part under control. But it's the second part that shapes your life the most and how you wound up. See, eh, no one is coming to save you. No one owes you anything. No one owes you anything but you. And you have to give it to yourself by grabbing opportunities when they arrive. What you'll be learning about today is more than an opportunity, more than a job opportunity. And if you grab it, it will change your life forever and so on and so on so that is how you deal with mindset because you want people are coming there with different minds right so you have to be able to deal with a uh, with the mindsets properly now the third thing you want to do is introduction now this is where you introduce yourself who are you why the hell are you qualified to teach them this stuff what makes you qualified to teach them 
it because you have a phone and you can just put a camera in your face or have you actually gotten results with the stuff you're teaching them so this is where you tell them about you and what qualifies you to teach them what you want to teach them and here this is where you sprinkle your own results so here's an example my name is Sean and three years ago I was XFX. That could be three years ago I was broke, three years ago I was confused, three years ago I just graduated from the university, blah, blah, blah. Whatever your story is, the important thing here is that you're telling your story because you want to relate with them and tell them, I was once a person who didn't understand how to get the results I'm about to teach you. But today, after learning and mastering so, so, and so, I have gotten so, so, and so results for myself and over so, so number of people. Now, your ability to do, to do this tells them two things. Number one, what you are teaching them did not just work for only you. It has also worked for a certain number of people. So, the likelihood it will work for them is very high. That increases the belief they have in you. So, let's look at an example again. I love to show examples. All right, let's start with this one. So this is an example about myself one year plus ago. And this, these are just a summary about myself. I decided to do it in a summary way. But let's look at the proper example. In 2021, this used to be me. This used to be me. This used to be me. We slept on the floor every night. I'm telling them my story. Okay, this used to be me. Why did I have to go through all this? You know, because of I didn't do this, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. I'm telling them my story. All right? Now, I now told them how it all changed for me. I met so so and so person, blah, blah, blah. This person did this, this person taught me, this person taught me that. This is me and Senator, whatever. I'm just using this. And then how it started, I went out to practice this skill. Yeah, these are the two phases of business I reached out to. I made 12K in two days. Everything changed for me. I'm telling them my story, all right? How I went from beginner to pro, all right? And that's all. So let me look at let me look for another person's story. Let me see if Max Amavad put his story here. Good, his story. You can see again, he followed the same process. Put your story. This was him in 2020, in 2016, homeless, zero bank. <laughs> you can see how ugly he looks here. <laughs> Money is a very, very good thing, man. <laughs> all right, faded clothes, always reading books around, no job. You know, I don't understand. That is the story. Now, look at his story in 2016. By September, everything has changed. What am I trying to say? Your story shows a lot about you, and people will tend to believe you more. So, you must put your story, your transition story. All right, you must put your transition story. All right, so let's move on. The, third, the fourth thing you want to do is proof. You want to show proof that this thing works. Has it worked for only you? No. Okay. Who are the people it has worked for? Where are the proofs? So you want to show proof that this stuff works, not just for yourself, but for others as well. All right. So, so you say something like, don't take my word for it. Look at so so and so person. Now, I want to show you some examples of proof. Let me see if some have added any proof here. Okay. So he didn't use proof directly here. Or you will see it in some of his other um this some people use the proof at the end but it's also good to put a proof in the beginning let me show you mine so this is a proof that this stuff this is this is my very good friend on so and this is a proof that this stuff works this is his testimony and i just screen grabbed it from something he posted back i didn't even know that he was into doing the same thing with me even though he was one that taught me but um I just screen grab it and it has been a very, very powerful proof for me because this is not even my proof. I'm now showing that this stuff did not just work for me, it's working for someone else. All right. Now, the next thing is your content and training. What is the main thing you want to teach them? Right? The main thing you want to teach them. So, I'm going to go in depth and show you different examples. The reason is because um, it is different for everybody. So, let's go. Let's look at this one. This is by Sam Harvard. So let's look at it. Now we are still going into the main thing. Okay, this is the main thing. It's teaching them about the personal recognition system. Okay, it's just going, it's just leading them towards his main thought, main thing you want to teach them. Okay, times have changed, the way we communicate has changed and all that. Move, move. Social media algorithm change. Actually, this course sells a WhatsApp marketing course, right? 
So he's now telling them SMS versus WhatsApp. He has led them to the main thing. Now he did more of pictorial teaching here. He didn't do much write up, but he explained this so I'm able to understand what happened here. All right, he's now trying to tell them that people use WhatsApp more. How profitable is email marketing? He's trying to show you email marketing versus WhatsApp marketing. All right, and how much you end up spending to pay for your email. And then he's comparing it that in email marketing you have eight percent to thirty eight percent open rates, while with WhatsApp marketing you have seventy percent to ninety nine percent open rates. How profitable is WhatsApp marketing? You can see his, this is the main topic of his of his class. This is the main thing he's teaching them. How profitable is WhatsApp marketing and all that? Are you paying for it and all that? So let's go back. Let me look at. Let me show you a previous webinar of my own, the meat of my course. So let's do a small exercise. What can this get you do? And this is where I transition into teaching them about the, the what is registering a business all about. I go ahead to teach them. Now, one important, very, very important thing you must do here. Do not, and I repeat, do not teach them the whole course here. This is a big mistake. People will just tell you thank you and they will go. People do not like to learn they don't like to learn they like to hear the possibilities but they are not they don't like to learn now i know this sounds like you are uh, counter intrusive or something but people do not like to learn right they want to know what is possible but most people do not like to learn and you are here for business it's not your fault if anybody decides i'm going to take this but i'm never going to implement it that's not your business so do not go into teaching them everything teach them what is possible um in a book by uh, what's the name of this lady who was who is a master at giving physical presentation that was where i learned that you do not sell the um you don't sell the is it you don't sell the plane is it you don't sell the plane yes you do not sell the plane sell the destination do not sell the plane sell the destination people want to know where they are going they don't really care about how fine your plane is they want to know that they will arrive at that beach and enjoy themselves it's the same thing here they want to know that when they buy your course they're going to make millions of money. that's what that's what they want to hear they don't want to hear that they're going to do a lot of work they don't want to hear this way it's so go ahead and sell the destination so in total do not spend so much time now you can look at this. I would have spent a lot of time teaching them, oh, this is how you put a business on Google, you go for ABC. I didn't do that. I just summarized the whole thing and I went straight. Okay, if you want to know how to do this, go here, click contribute, and you are good to go. Basic and simple. And I didn't teach them that. I just went straight into the making money. That is why they are there. So that is the same thing with you. Do not waste time teaching. In total, in total, your for your webinar, let's look at this. Let's look at it before I go on. You can see you didn't spend so much time teaching here he just went straight so much time what kind of this he has gone into question he has already gone into transition and we'll talk about transition in the next slide so do not waste time in total spend at least a, a maximum of 10 minutes teaching maximum 10 minutes teach summarize whatever it is you want to teach and you are good to go the next thing is your the next thing is your content slash training um, okay, sorry, we've covered that. The next thing is your transition slash demand. Now you've shown them the transformation that is possible. You've shown them the, the destination, which is possible. Now you want to create a demand by showing them the things that will limit them from achieving the said transformation. So you've to, you've sold them on the destination, right? And you've told them this is what is possible. You can make a social amount of money. This is how it happens, and you summarize that. Now. If you can look at an example here, you can say, even though anyone can make a hundred K from Amazon KDP, here is 99, here is here is why 99% of people don't. You give them reason one, give them reason two, give them reason three. Okay, reason one, most people do not know how to write a book. Reason two, most people do not know how to create an account. Reason three, most people do not know how to do. You've created barriers to the trans transformation that you just sold them on. Why? why are you creating barriers for the same transition i'm sorry for the same transformation that you just sold them on right now because you want to create a demand for your product you want them to want to buy your product you want to tell them that your product ha your product is the solutions to all these 
barriers that you just created. So let's look at examples again. Now, he created where where to get the kind of contact that I'll be selling. This is a question. Yes, people now know that okay, you can make a lot of money using WhatsApp. So, but where will they be getting the kind of contacts that will buy what they're selling? How will you present it to them that they will even buy? Eh? How will you do that? How will you find hot products that sell on WhatsApp and easily earn on a daily basis? How will you do that? These are barriers. How do I overcome objections and close sales? More. Look at this. After immediately after that. He has now put his incredible offer. So his, these are these are the barriers, and he's about to go into his offers, right? This barrier. So you have to create these barriers that create demand. People are now heightened. They know they can get this stuff. They know that they, this stuff can give them social transformation. But now there are barriers. How do they overcome those barriers? And that is the next thing you now move into your offer. But before we go into um, offer, look at my own slide and see how I did this. So I went ahead to tell them, this is still part of me teaching three ways I can make money. I'm selling them on the, the, pro, the, the promise, what is actually possible with this. Good. And I told them, this is the barriers. Okay, so you know you can make money with GMB, but these are where you'll be struggling. Number one, you may not know how to get your business or client's business verified. Number two, you may not know how to optimize or rank your business. Number three, you may not know how to make money with this skill. So... And I went into introducing my, and I told them these are the four things they will need. And I'll show them other people's results as well. So, and I'll tell them, how can I help you do this? Now, after this, I will definitely introduce my offer. So let's look at offer. What is your offer specifically? Now, here you introduce your course, your offer, your product as the solution to those barriers you've just created. All right, that we have prevented them from achieving the possible transformation. So here you go in depth into explaining the details of your products and you will do well to put the value of each section into figures, right? Put the value in figures. At the end, you sum up the total worth of the course and give discounted figures, okay? Let's look at examples. Okay, now he introduced his offer. How I made over 850k in three days on WhatsApp copy and paste. That is his offer. And then he's telling you what you get. Number one, two hidden tools in WhatsApp that can generate recurring income for you and how to use them. $50 value. Number two, okay, he gave an he gave some here, he even gave testimonial of the tools. Number two, look at again how to get quality contacts on your WhatsApp who are willing to buy from you. Give the value again. He gave some this is this is his own unique method, but you can see it's still following the same process. Like that, like that, you keep going, keep going, keep going, and then you reach where you sum up everything. Bam. This is how you do your offer. So let's look at my own. Let's look at my own from the previous slide. I gave them my own. Imagine this. Okay. Good. Intro. This is my offer, the Google My Business Mentorship Academy. And then I gave them the offer, everything this is what you're going to get. Total worth of 30,000 Naira. Let's go. There's more. You get this as well. Total worth of 15,000. Get the other one. Total worth of 10,000. Get the other one. Total worth of 30,000. Get this one. Total worth of 20,000. Get this. Total worth of 20K. Get this. Total worth of 10K. Total worth of 8K. Total worth of 50K. And then, oh, sorry, I jumped. And then again, summarize everything. So this is your offer. All right. So let's move on. The next thing you want is your triggers. Here you basically use urgency and scarcity because humans are very, very procrastinating creatures. Nothing procrastinates on earth and in heaven like human beings. We are very good at procrastinating. And so it's very important you put a time frame because you want to induce the fear of missing out, all right? So you're going to put a time frame, sorry. I just want to know how long this video has become. 24 minutes, all right, it should be under 30. So you want to put a time frame there and for people to um, rush, you want them to rush and buy it from you immediately. You do not want them to wait because the moment they leave that call, they are hardly going to ever buy it again. And then there's a big secret. If you get a certain number of people to buy on the call, the likelihood that you, when you follow up, people will buy will increase times 10. But the moment nobody bought on the call, 
the likelihood that anybody is going to buy when you follow up is not it's going to be very poor so you want to ensure people are buying right there on the presentation because the moment you are even able to say oh somebody has just grabbed their own nine slots left or oh, somebody has just grabbed their own eight slots left and that person has grabbed their own seven slots the fear of missing out will be so high some people will not mind borrowing money and paying on the spot so another thing to do here is even if one or two people pay on the spot use those people's um on payment proof and post it in the group and use it to follow up okay so the number of people have paid this is what slot is left you want people to know that they are going to miss out if not they will not take any urgent action all right so um i don't think i can show you any examples here because um but i will show you an example of scarcity let me show you some examples of scarcity so i gave them my price this is very important to understand the pricing part today's price 33,000 naira. but this is an 80 percent discount from um the price of 165 however I give them a fast action bonus. This is another way to induce scarcity because it is this fast action bonus is only for the next 12 hours. I also give them a free gift that I limited for the first seven people. Now, once the slots are taken up 15, they will have to pay 15,000 to assess it. So this is a fast action bonus and it's a way of creating audience. And this is to create scarcity, seven people. I mean, not everybody can get this. So this is for scarcity. This is for urgency. I added two of them here. So let me see if Sam Harvard also did that on his own slide. Okay, good. So total value, promo price. He's giving a promo here. Um, here are some results. Now, fast auction takers, this is also urgency. Instead of paying 40,000 naira, fast action takers will pay only 10,000 naira today. And then he gave special bonus. Book story of, uh, um, okay, so I think that's the end of his own slide. He didn't um, go further than that. All right, so um, this is exactly how it works. You've seen how offers work right triggers work sorry and then the next thing you want to do is q and a so not everybody does this but i love to do q and a the reason is um during q and a i can lengthen the time i spend with them people can ask questions and have their answers and pay on the spot right so you want more people paying on the spot so the important thing to note is um before we continue i just want to go back from the moment you drop in your offer People are going to start leaving your class. It's inevitable. It's non inevitable. People will start leaving your class. They've gotten whatever it is they came here for and they deserve, decided it's not for them. They're going to start leaving. All right. And it's fine. It's normal. Not everybody can buy from you. But again, you have a free gift. The reason why you told them if you stay to the end, they have a free gift to get is to ensure you keep them for as long as possible. And this is why you should not spend so much time on your content and training. Instead, you should spend more time showing testimonials. The more testimonials you can show to them, the more people are triggered, the more people want to buy. All right, so after your Q&A, you close. You simply summarize by telling them what they stand to get, the bonuses, the need for urgency, transformation, and then you call on them to act immediately. So that's the summary of how you create a powerful presentation and i've shown you with examples but i just want to add a few notes number one you must engage your listeners every three to five minutes engage them ask them questions what do you think about this do you think this is for you um can you will you be willing to pay such an amount of money do you believe in village people ask them questions that will get them to type for you that will get them to type for you um, as part of this program, I am also dropping a few videos which you should watch and see how it is done in real life. All right. Now, if you use services like Zoom, you can. Uh, uh, if you have services like Zoom, you can pay for the Zoom. You can use Zoom. Zoom is better because most people will want to join you live, and it makes so much more sense. The only disadvantage with Zoom is the number of people you will have. The number of people will be less because some people do not have zoom however you can encourage them pre-webinar pre-webinar dates you can encourage them to you know get 
Zoom on their phones because that's where the training we have. And the more you can hype your training before that time, the more likely they are going to do what you want. Now, if you use services like like StreamYard, um, you can highlight. If you use services like StreamYard, you can highlight the comments sections of your comments of your audiences and engage those comments. All right, so. Um, I think that is that on how to um, get your to create very very powerful um, great powerful presentations thank you and see you in the next video cheers